Hey guys, Ben with Ben's Viewfinder here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a cleaning kit on how to clean cameras and give you a little introduction about how it works. We're going to try to do this as quickly as possible, uh, but I just want to show you guys that sometimes not sending your stuff off every time it needs to have cleaned, if you live in a place like I do where you don't have uh, a place right down the road where you can take it, I have to set it, ship it off, I want to get my camera cleaned. Sometimes you want to do it just quickly and get the sensor cleaned off. And so I bought this little kit here from B&H Photo. It's made by Delkin Devices, and I paid $70 for it. And it is a whole little kit here, let me open it up here and show you guys, that has a scope in it to help you so you can look inside and look at your sensor. It has a little vacuum device so you can get the big particles out. It has this little pen here where you can get your edges of your sensor cleaned and has a brush on one end to help you get some of uh, clean out some of the little crevices and stuff inside the sensor. It has all these different size, I guess what I'd call them is almost like squeegee type devices here to help you when you put the solution, the cleaning solution on the sensor to help get off the oil and the stuff like that that's on there. Um, let's see what else we got. And then there's this power pack for the vacuum that they give you that runs off four AA batteries. So for this is kind of a complete kit that I got and I got it because I want to be able to clean my camera sensors when they get all those stupid little spots on them and stuff like that. Now we're going to shoot, I'm also gonna turn on my Google Glasses here. I'm gonna videotape this from a first person perspective too to try to help you so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So let me do that. Okay, Glass, record a video. All right, we're recording from Glass also. Here's my Nikon D3X. Let me extend the video here. All right, so this is my D3X. We're going to clean the sensor inside here. First thing you want to do is make sure that your battery is fully charged in your camera. And once it's fully charged, because it won't let you do this, you go, at least with Nikons, I don't know if you can see this or not, we go into the little wrench menu here, the settings menu, and we go down to the lock mirror up for cleaning. And we hit OK. We're going to hit Start. It's going to tell me when I press the shutter release, it's going to lift the mirror, and to put the shutter back down, we'll turn the camera off. So, we'll go ahead and we'll press the mirror, or press the shutter, and now the mirror that was covering up the sensor ahead of time is now up, and we have a sensor, which you can't see, but it's in there. The sensor is exposed, and now, first thing we're going to do is inspect the sensor. We'll see how dirty it is. And now with this little scope thing that they give you, this is like a little device here and what you can do is this goes over the top of the sensor here and you turn this on it has LED lights on the bottom of it that you turn on and then you can set it inside here and I'm not sure if you can see but it's magnifying the sensor let me see if I can see it here and you guys probably can't make it out but it's showing me, when you look really close at it, it's showing me all the little dust particles and the little parts of the sensor that are dirty and allows me to kind of detect my trouble areas, see if there's any super big particles, if there's any sort of scratches, if it's just basic dust. Uh, and so I can kind of inspect it and get a better idea from there. So now that we've done that, we'll put this little scope away for the moment. And we're going to get our little vacuum out, which makes a lot of noise for a little vacuum. And I'm going to try to do this underneath this camera here. We'll plug our power pack into the USB port here. It's just a little USB plug. The power pack's here. This is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm trying to run two cameras at the same time, so I'm looking at one, looking at the other. So. So we switched this to on, so now we got juice flowing. Now they give you this little protection cover over the top of the brush for the vacuum. You want to make sure you keep that covered because if you touch it, if it touches things, it'll pick up stuff and then you don't want that going inside your camera. So we'll go ahead and uncover that now. And so it has this little bristle brush on the end here. And then we're going to turn this on and we're going to try to get inside of here. And we're going to get around some of the edges. We're going to try to clear off the big dust particles that might be inside the chamber here or around the sensor. Make sure that you don't brush this brush across the sensor though. If you need to touch the sensor to get up any big particles, we just do 
um, like kind of a dabbing technique. And the user manual explained to me, I didn't go and figure this out magically, the user manual explains all this stuff to you. And so we turn this on, and it has a little LED light in here, and it's gonna allow me to kind of go in here, and I'm just getting around the edges, getting the stuff that is kind of big and needed. And there's not too much stuff. This camera's still relatively new. It doesn't need a lot of cleaning. And then if there's big particles that you really, really need to be able to get to, there's a high-powered button here, this little button. You press that and it goes on to super mode, I guess. And so we're pretty good. Most of the stuff on this sensor in this case is not big particles, so we're not too concerned about it. We'll put the cap back over the um, over the vacuum here. We'll go ahead and take the top off of that too and put that back. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to clean the actual sensor itself with one of these brushes. Now there's three different types of these brushes here, these bigger, these little squeegee brushes. There's like a, a small, which is for little sensors if you're doing a small sensor camera. And they have size numbers actually. I couldn't tell you the millimeter sizes or whatever. And then there's a medium. And let me see if I can find a large because that's what we're going to want for this. Here we are. It'll give you a good amount of this stuff. You don't... You, you get enough to do multiple cleanings. And if you figure that most camera companies or places will charge you 150 bucks or so to do a good cleaning on your camera, spending $70 on this kit being able to do multiple cleanings isn't too bad. So you kind of try to line this up. Let's see if you can see it through here. Uh, we try to line this up. You, you kind of set it up and see what the squeegee sizes for the right sensor and your if you look in your user manual it'll also tell you what the size of the sensor itself is and so you want to make sure that you don't touch these when you bring these out you want to open this up open up the end of this plastic if you can without touching anything and then once you have this open you're going to do two there's two sides to it and the idea is we're going to use one side to put the solution on to clean the sensor, and then we're going to use the other side to kind of dry it up afterwards. And you do not need very much of this solution here. This is very, uh, you just need enough to kind of get the sensor a little bit wet, and then we'll go over the sensor once with it, and then we'll switch and we'll dry it off. Okay, I'm going to do this part through the Google Glass, though, because I don't want to hold the solution over the device. And this is some proprietary solution that they came up with. So we'll just do a little dab right along the edges just to get the end of it a little bit wet. And this evaporates very fast. So we'll cap the solution. We're going to do a swipe over the sensor from left to right. And then we'll go back from right to left. And then we're going to switch to the other side of the brush. We'll do the same thing. And usually, it's a good idea to inspect it with the scope again, see if you got the big stuff off. You want to be careful. You don't want to push on anything too hard. You don't want to, I mean, and if you don't feel comfortable doing this at all, take it and have it done by somebody else. But I tested doing this first on my other camera, my, my cheaper camera, to make sure that I knew <laughs> that I could pull this off without screwing it up. So I'm gonna lift this up, I'm gonna look at my sensor again. And that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of stuff around the edges. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the scope back off here. And I'm going to get my little brush out, my little squeegee on it too, this little thing right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the brush out and I'm going to kind of tilt this upwards because a lot of times when you do this, if you're doing this straight down like this, dust is actually falling back into your sensor as you're cleaning it. Sorry, I'm, I keep looking up and away from with my um, glasses here. Your, your dust is actually probably falling away from your sensor. So you want to kind of tilt this up sometimes to get a little bit of the dust out. And so we'll lift this up a little bit here. And you can't see this on the big camera. And we'll get some of the bigger stuff up and then once you've kind of brushed away the particles that you want to get away if 
there were any along the edges. We'll close this brush, make sure there's nothing to get back on it. And then there's this little rubber stopper thing here inside of this. And they say twist the cap a few times because there's some sort of cleaning stuff that's inside there that comes off on this cap. Then you take this cap off and there's this lovely little thing right here. You can see this with the glasses too. Looks almost like a little pen. And we're going to go around it, just around the edges and just do a little brushing on the edges of the sensor. You don't want to do too much, you don't want to push too hard. Just enough to get your stuff off. So I think that looks pretty good. Make sure you put your cap back on. We'll inspect the sensor one more time here. Make sure we got everything that we wanted to get off there. And again, make sure you want to check your mirrors and everything too. Make sure everything's cleaned out. Make sure the whole compartment's pretty good. And I think that we pretty much got it. I am. Um, it's a good idea to take before test images. Take like a blue sky test image beforehand. And then take one afterwards. Make sure you can blow it up on your big computer screen and make sure that you got your... Because when you take a shot, you go outside, take a shot like straight up at the sky with it. You can blow it up on a computer screen and look at it and look for the little spots that are inside on the sensor itself when you put it on a computer screen. And then take one afterwards, make sure you got them all. So, and if you need to do it again, if you need to go back over it, make sure you use a different brush. Because you don't want to put the same stuff that was on the old one, or from the old brush, back on the sensor. So, this was kind of a uh, discombobulated video, but... Uh, hope it kind of helped and kind of introduced you guys to this cleaning kit. It's not a difficult process. It's not a long process. You just need to be gentle. Make sure you don't touch things with your hands. It's best to do this in a controlled environment. Um, but really, this little Delkin kit is pretty good. And I think it's worth it $70. I've already cleaned two cameras now with it. And comparative to sending it off and getting them clean, that's not bad. Still a good idea, just a warning, to get your camera serviced every now and then where they actually go through and check all the mechanicals and check the sensors and check everything, make sure everything's working properly. Uh, and so you still want to do that every now and then. But for in between cleanings, when you just get a little bit of dust in there or whatever, it's good to have a kit kind of like this. So hope it helped, guys. Check out the blog at bensviewfinder.com, and I will see you soon.